Are you tired of generic sounding edits or frustrated by trying to make music fit your videos? If you want to take control of your soundtrack in Resolve, what I'm about to show you will give you that extra creative control over the music in your videos. Normally you find a music track you like and just add it to your video. Maybe you trim the starts and the ends or maybe you alter the volume, but that's about all the control you have. What if I told you there's a better way when you just want the ultimate control over the music and the mood in your edit? You're going to need a music service that gives you the ability to download something called Stems. I've been using Epidemic Sound for over five years now for all my music and sound effects. If you want to follow along, get your free trial today using the first link in the description. I'm using the Epidemic Sound plugin for DaVinci Resolve here, but you can also use the Epidemic Sound website to search and download music. Instead of just using the whole track, Instead, you can download the stems by coming to these three buttons here and choosing show stems. In this case, we've got the bass stems, the main instruments, the melody or the vocals, and the drums. We can download each of these stems individually and put each one onto a separate audio track to give us loads of creative choices. I'm gonna share three ways to work with stems in this video, plus I've got a bonus tip for you. First, let's head back to Resolve and we'll go and set up our audio tracks. At the minute, we've got three audio tracks and these are stereo tracks because of the 2.0 there. Let's go and rename our tracks to set things up. We'll have a bass track, an instrument track, a melody track. And I'm just gonna right click here and choose add track, add stereo track. And this will be for the drums stem. If you want to, you can color code these tracks. Let's change this to orange, teal, the melody to pink and the drums to lime. The first way you can use stems is to just use the parts that you want. For example here, you might just really like that kind of synth pad background. You can go and download that stem and once it's downloaded, drag that stem for the instruments onto our instrument track. And you might need to turn down the master here while you're editing things. Or maybe perhaps we just wanted the drums for this track. Download those and drag them onto the drums track. The second way you can use stems is the custom mix approach. For example, if you thought that the bass and the drums were too loud in the original. In this case, we download all of the stems and then we drag each stem onto its separate audio track So what we can do now is while it's playing, we can just reduce the volume of the bass and the drums, for example. The third technique is the most powerful and it's called the custom edit technique. I'm just gonna double click these faders to reset them to the original volumes and we'll go and close the mixer to make a bit of space. First thing I'm gonna do is find out where I want the actual music track to start. Somewhere around there. I'm gonna select all of these tracks and then trim the starts and then move them all across. And we'll also trim the ends. So with this third technique, we're actually gonna mix in and out different parts or different stems as the video plays. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. Version A is quicker, but a bit more clunky. And that's to just cut in and out the drums, for example, when we want them. So let's take our drums track and... And let's say we wanted the drums to actually start there. Click the drums clip and use control B to cut that first bit and then hit D on the keyboard to disable that. Now the drums will kick in here. And maybe we want the drums to stop, disable that thing with D on the keyboard. And let's say here, we want the bass to stop. We're gonna select this clip, hit Control B to cut. Select this, hit D to disable that part. Say there's gonna be a change. And then let's say we want the drums to come back in. Click this, Control B to cut. Select this bit, hit D on the keyboard. Say there's gonna be a change. 
and we might want the bass to kick back in here. So select that, control B, click D. So you can see how powerful that is to really shape the music and really tailor it to your video. I'm just gonna undo those changes with Control Z and we'll look at version B and that's to use volume automation to bring the drums up and down, for example. So let's just solo the drums by clicking this S so we can just hear that track. And maybe what we actually want is for all of these other tracks to not kick in until this part of the drum kicks in. So click on this first track and if you wanna, you can make some space with this track selected, hold down Alt and click here on this volume line. And this adds this little red keyframe. You can use Control Plus to zoom in if you need to. Hold down Alt and click and then drag this down. And now we won't have any bass until this point. Let's do the same thing for this track and also for the melody. If we want to, we can move this keyframe across so that that vocals just come in slowly. And that sounds a little bit strange. So once again, if we want to, we can fade this in. We want we can add another keyframe. And maybe here. We just want the vocals, we'll add keyframes, lower the volume of that bit, lower the volume of this a bit, lower the volume of this a bit. Say there's gonna be a change, cause I feel like and maybe here we want to ramp up the volume of this track. I'm just doing this really quickly to show you the technique. Obviously you can spend a lot more time on this. Let's get to that bonus tip. So once you've created your custom mix, you might actually want to alter the total volume of the music. And once you've got all these keyframes in, it becomes a bit more difficult to do. You could just open up the mixer and then lower each one of these faders by the same amount, but that's a little bit tricky or at least a bit time consuming and fiddly. Instead, come down here and change to the Fairlight window. Come up to the Fairlight menu, choose bus format, choose add bus. Make sure this is a stereo bus. You can click here to give this new bus a name. Let's Let's call it music and click OK. And in the mixer here, if you don't see that, you can turn it off and on. Scroll down here to see bus outputs and change this from bus one to music for each of these four stems tracks. And then for this music bus that we just created, click plus and choose bus one. All four of these stems tracks, the audio will be routed to bus one. And that means you can just use this single slider to change the total loudness of the music. Watch this video next for more music and sound design tips. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.